For every, okay. After nine years, I know how to use a gavel. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'd like to welcome you and to call to order the 84th meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. It's good to see all of you. Uh, for those in the room, uh, you will immediately notice we are in new digs here in this uh, co conference room of this building that NHGRI recently uh, moved into. Um, for those uh, joining us remotely, I'm not sure if you'll tell the difference. Maybe you will. Uh, you probably will when the, we pan around to using different camera angles. You'll see a different looking room. At least the walls are a little bit different. Um, but this is the inaugural use of this room in Rockledge um, that we will now be having council meetings for the foreseeable future because the lease just started and we're going to be here for a while. So it's good to see all of you, and we have um, lots to do in the open session. Uh, but I'll, right this minute, I'm going to turn it over to Rudy Pizzotti. Thank you very much, Eric. Uh, I want to remind the council members and everyone that uh, we webcast the open session of the council meeting live. Um, so you're, call mom and dad and let them know you're on TV right now. <laughs> uh, we also archive uh, these open sessions. Uh, this meeting and all previous council meetings going back to 2011 or 2012 are available on the NHGRI council webpage. Um, in order to get your comments into the archive, I need to ask everyone to use the table mics, and if any members of the staff have a comment to make, please go to one of the microphones. Okay, um, I want to begin with uh, introductions. We have uh, several new employees here at NHGRI, and I want to introduce these people to the council. When I call your name, would you please stand during your introduction so the council members uh, can see you? Uh, let's begin with uh, Lisa Chadwick. Lisa is a new program director in the Division of Genomic Sciences. She began working at NHGRI in August of this year. Before coming to us, Lisa was a program director for 10 years at the National Institute for Environmental Health Sciences. Uh, she managed a portfolio of grants involving environmental epigenomics, microbiome research, and the use of non-mammalian model, organi model organisms in toxicological research. Lisa served as a program director for the 4D Nucleome Project and the NIH Roadmap Epigenomics Project, both common fund projects at NIH. Her postdoctoral research included studies of the genetics of complex traits, epigenetics, and chromatin remodeling. And at NHGRI, Lisa will be part of the genome sequencing program, working on the Mendelian Genomic Centers, uh, as well as managing a portfolio of other investigator-initiated grants. We have a new cohort of program analysts uh, to introduce to the council. Uh, let's start, uh, we're going to do them in alphabetical order here, and let's start with Eileen Cahill. Eileen is a graduate of Georgetown University. She majored in biology and minored in art. Her undergraduate research project at Georgetown examined the effects of bisphenol A on the expression of oxytocin in zebrafish. Eileen will work on the Small Business and Technology Development Programs as well as the ENCODE project. Thank you, Eileen. Joanna Chow. Joanna is a graduate of the University of California at Berkeley. She majored in microbial biology. She conducted research at the Berlin Center for Genomics and Biodiversity, and her project involved the genome assembly of the parasitic worm Calaria mesnili. Is that even close, Joanna? <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who want to can join me for a remedial Latin program later this <laughs> afternoon. So jo Joanna works on the NIH Data Commons and CSER projects, as well as the General Informatics Program at NHGRI. Natalie Pino. Natalie graduated from Barnard College with a major in cellular and molecular biology. Her research experience as an undergraduate included investigating the use of stem cells to promote cartilage repair during wound healing. Natalie works on the ClinGen and Phoenix projects, as well as the ELSI research program. Thank you, Natalie. Cecilia Tamburo. Cecilia graduated from Brown University with a major in biology. She worked at the Genetic Alliance, where she researched and wrote articles about genetics and community health initiatives. Cecilia works on the Undiagnosed Disease Network, Insight, and provides support for the Genomic Medicine Working Group of Council. Thank you, Cecilia. Alex Raphael. Alex graduated from Lewis and Clark College with a major in biology. 
Alex's research experience included studies on the effects of brown recluse spider venom on cell membranes from a variety of model organisms. Alex works on the LC research and training programs, as well as the GWAS catalog project. Thank you, Alex. Catherine Solari. Catherine is a graduate of Tufts University with a major in biology. She participated in research at Brigham and Women's Hospital, where she was involved in participant recruitment for a study on privacy, insurance, and ethical issues in the BabySeq project. Catherine works on the Undiagnosed Disease Network and CSER projects. Thank you, Catherine. Harry Waddell. Harry graduated from Vassar College with a major in biology. He conducted research at the University of Washington focused on single cell technologies. Harry works on the H3 Africa Initiative, the Centers of Excellence in Genomic Science, and the Functional Variation Program. Thank you, Harry. So going outside of the extramural research program, uh, Elena Gunaim. Elena has recently joined the Policy and Program Analysis Branch in the Division of Policy, Communications, and Education. Elena completed a master's degree in bioethics and science policy at Duke University, and she'll work as a policy analyst on genome data sharing matters with Laura Rodriguez. Thank you, Elena. Jessica Rush. Jessica received her doctoral degree from the University of Wisconsin at Madison, working in the cellular and molecular biology department. She recently completed a postdoctoral fellowship at the Moffitt Cancer Center. Jessica will be working in the Division of Policy, Communication, and Education as an NIH AAAS Science and Technology Policy Fellow, and she'll work on international genomic data sharing and return of research policies. Thank you. Okay, our society li liaison members are Ellen Giarelli from the International Society of Genetics, Mona Miller from the American Society of Human Genetics, James O'Leary from the Genetic Alliance, Rhonda Schoenberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors, and Michael Watson from the American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics. I know Michael is here with us today in person. Thank you very much. Anyone else in the room? I know Ellen. Thank you. Oh, that's Mona. Okay. So Michael and Mona, thank you for spending the day with us. Okay, uh, I seek your approval of the May Council minutes. So uh, does anyone who happened to have looked at the May Council minutes have any edits, comments, or corrections to make? And if not, can I get a motion to approve the minutes? A second. All in favor? Any opposed? Any abstentions? Thank you very much. Uh, let me draw your attention to the future council meeting dates. We have them now for 2019 and 2020. They're listed on the open session agenda. Please get these on your calendar and share them with your administrative assistants. If you notice a schedule conflict uh, with any of these dates, please let me know and more importantly, Comfort Brown know about that. And with that, I'm ready to turn the meeting over to Eric for his director's report.